In the theory video, we showed the basic principles of getting the massive limestone blocks from the quarry all the way up to the pyramid construction site and then up the side of the pyramid using flotation in simplistic terms. But in reality, if a water lift extended from the ground to the top of the pyramid with only a gate at the top and at the bottom, the water lift would break because of the huge pressures created by the weight of so much water. To combat this, Chris proposes multiple gated locks in 50 foot segments, extending up the water shaft. The upshot of doing this is that each section would only be subjected to about two bars of water pressure. Also, this would decrease the compression on the floats used to lift the blocks up the shaft. Blocks would be continually moved upwards in threes and fours between each set of locks. Finally, the blocks arrive at the top of the pyramid construction site, ready for placement.